We'll sort out an armor all pole for this one. Event four of the Repco Supercars Championship. Great to have your company today. Gorgeous skies above. We had wet conditions yesterday. Lots of varied conditions through the course of the afternoon. Wet track, semi-wet track, dry track and grooves on occasion. It had an outstanding outcome though with Andre Heimgartner picking up his first ever victory in supercars competition. 40 odd seconds remaining now. Van Gisbergen's jumped up to be the first of the Holdens into fourth position. That time is standing for Tim Slade at the moment. 47s are the record pace around here, so the track is still not ideal. But Tim Slade has got 0.14 of a second at the moment. This could be another huge storyline if he maintains this current position. This is a pretty good lap for Heimgartner. It will put him into the top five, I think, by the look of that number. So, as you said, Crompo, 49-0 is a long way away from what we've seen here in history for peak speed. In fact, the fastest that we've seen is a 47.49, so a 47.5, one and a half, one and a half seconds slower. Heimgartner comes up to second. Second flag. Nice Such job, 49.15. So he goes to the front row of the grid based on that, but it's not over. Deep Pasquale has done the fastest first sector. So we saw those some of the competitors out of sync with each other. And I. Not 100% sure it could be down to the millimetres, but Heimgartner might have got past the chequered flag then. Maybe. I'm not sure whether he greeted it or not. I looked away and looked back, but it was. I heard the call from on race management channel from Tim Schenken that the session was complete and the flag to go out. But some will still be completing their laps, like Thomas Randall here in the Castrol Racing entry coming out of the final corner. And Will Davis is on a ripper lap. Crop over. He's, Bryce Forward's come up to fifth to be the fastest Holden at the moment. It's a great job. Thomas Randall now up to eighth. So one of yeah, our wildcard entries. Sensational. But Will Davison at the oh, second cumulative number looks like he might be able to go to the top. So Nick Perkat now comes up. So does Cam Waters. They're fourth and fifth respectively. Davison does a 48-8, the only car into the 48s, and goes to pole position. Straight away beaten by Deep Pasquale. 48-6-7 to the two short power Mustangs on the front row of the grid. Big response by Deep Pasquale on the podium yesterday. Brody Kostecki's just jumped into 10th position. Nick Perkat showing fast sector splits here as well. It's all happening in the back end of this session. But Anton Di Pasquale potentially having his first ever armor all pole and his first main game supercar pole. So I think, Mark, that everyone's done and dusted now. So that is another great story to add to the Tail and Bend weekend. So it's the Shell V Power Racing Team cars one and two. A tremendous performance by Di Pasquale. His engineer, Ludo Lacroix. Previous uh, best qualifying. How's this? He's qualified third on the second row of the grid six times. <laughs> he's finally jumped up onto the front row of the grid and he's done it in style with an armor all pole. Well done, Anton. 25 years of age. Originally from Werribee, these days on the Gold Coast, right by Dick Johnson Racing. And this is another big story this weekend to add to the Heimgartner yarn from yesterday. So he's home by 0.1 of a second. Well done over his teammate. And his teammate was having a battle yesterday. And they've started this weekend or this second day of competition very strongly. Tim Slade, that's a remarkable performance as well to jump up into third. Andre Heimgarten will start on the second row of the grid. And a couple of other notables, Mark, that are further down the order. Look at Van Gisbergen there in 13th. He's a, a mile away, isn't he? Eight tenths of a second away from pole. So what a weekend of first. We were...